This is John from Justin's World of Softball. I'm here at the Bandits Ballpark with manager Mike Stewall. How are you, sir? Real good, thank you. So I can assume now with the win last night, they're four and all. We're talking perfection for the season. <laughs> no, congratulations, great win last night. Thank you. Yeah, it was um, it was fun. Um, you know, we talked to the girls. You know, and, and we say it every day. Our goal is to go out and compete. You know, to the best of the Bandits ability, no matter if it's um, the pride the racers, the charge, the rebellion, whoever we're playing, we just want to play our our type of softball, our pace and control and dictate the game. Now you have a long history with the Bandits. Could you fill uh, briefly kind of catch us up in your history with the Bandits? Yeah, um, I came over in 2010 um, with Aaron Moore as the assistant coach. Um, I was with him over in Rockford when there was a team there and I was in um, the assistant role for two seasons and then the head coach role for two seasons. Um, and then stepped away for a season, um, and back this season, um, and looking forward to it. So this is my fifth year uh, coaching with the Bandits. Now that you, there were about maybe eight or nine new players in the team. There's a lot of turnover in the offseason. Is that typical, that amount? Yeah, pretty average. You know, I say um, max, you probably see about 50%. Um, turnover, and then on a good year, I think we've seen probably six players turned over. So, um, you know, with the league and just kind of where it's at right now, salary wise, you know, some girls have to make that decision, you know, for families or jobs and stuff like that. And you'd like to see them keep having that opportunity to play a little bit longer. There we go. Um, <laughs> um, opportunity to keep playing a little bit longer, but. Um, you know, it it goes that way every year. So, you know, you look for that next group of um, young players to step up into that veterans role, and then you look for those newbies to kind of come in and, and be able to fit, fit the roles that you have left. Now you, have, you have three new catchers on the team. Does, how does that affect the pitching staff? Um, you know, it's an adjustment. You've got to learn how to throw to different players. Um, you know, every pitcher likes to work at a little bit different pace and everyone, you know, has their go-tos and um, some pitchers, you know, they like to throw those 45-minute bullpens and then you have other pitchers that like to throw those 15-minute bullpens. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait, so you have three new catchers on the team. What does that do to a pitching staff? Um, they just, you know, they really have to spend some time getting acquainted with them. You know, different pitchers, their drops move differently. Um, some have more breaks, so for the, from the catcher's standpoint, it's learning how they need to react to that pitch. You know, worst case scenario. Obviously, you always want that pitch to hit the spot you call for, but, you know, as a catcher, you got to learn, okay, is she going to miss, you know, six inches on this, or is she going to miss a foot and a half on this? Um, and, and just kind of learning how they're going to react to the pitchers, how they need to control certain pitchers. You know, some of our pitchers do a really good job where, you don't have to say much to them during the game, and other pitchers you gotta kind of have to guide them and remind them of situations and who they're facing, who's on deck, and things like that. Do the pitchers call the pitches, or do they come from the bench? Um, they call the pitches. We work with them. You know, we'll talk going into series how we want to attack specific hitters. You know, who we don't want to beat us in a series, things like that. Um, but from there, we really work on um, trying to work and un get them to have an understanding because they have the best perspective out there. You know, they're seeing how close that hitter is to the line, um, whether or not, you know, they're cheating on an inside pitch or diving into that outside pitch. Um, so they really have the best perspective. We do, you know, have calls where, you know, if there's situations where we want a specific pitch, we will get the catcher's attention and make sure they know what call we want in a situation. Now you said something interesting before we started taping. What did you tell the team last night when, when you guys were down? Oh, we're going to get punched in the mouth at some point this season. You know, how are we going to respond? So, um, you know, we went to PA. We played really well. Um, pitchers threw great the first two nights. We didn't have any walks the first two nights. And, you know, we found ways to win those games. And we never trailed that whole weekend. You know, Sunday we came out and put up a five spot in the first inning and um, just kind of built off of it from there. So. You know, as well as we played, we didn't, we didn't face that adversity of being behind in a game or, or getting hit a little bit as a pitching staff. So, you know, they did a great job last night, um, not just the players that were in the game, but the people on the bench. And that's one thing we kind of emphasize with our girls is, 
you know, your whatever your role is for that night, you know, take take full charge of it. If you're picking up charts in the dugout or if you're picking signs or whatever it is, you know, help us out, help us go win a game tonight. Okay. Coach, we will uh, let you go get the team ready for tonight's game. Thank Good you. luck. Congrats again on the win. We'll be with you all soon. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah.